Good morning, saints and sinners. First of all, y'all, she made me cry. Day one, complete. Day one. The sun beat me up today. All I think about is you. Y'all say, hey to y'all little nephew. Here we go. Okay, so it's almost bedtime. But I wanted to jump on here really quick because, oh, I came over my sister's house, obviously, because um, I have to go to see the OBGYN early in the morning. Like, I got think I, I got to be there at 8. Yeah, I think I got to be there for 8 o'clock and hold on let me bring y'all down so y'all can see him okay so i gotta be there at eight o'clock so which means that i need to leave here about maybe 7 30 7 45 i don't know maybe 7 45 probably will get me there either way y'all i am having so much anxiety i do my skincare and all that other stuff <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to tell the people. Anyway, y'all, so I'm having so much anxiety because the last time I tried to go to the OBGYN or whatever, like that was just, it was just a bad experience. And especially after going, going to her for after four years, it just struck a negative chord and I don't want that to repeat. So... And I know I'm overthinking it. I know I have anxiety. I understand it. I understand that. But it is what it is. I'm just being vulnerable because a part of my channel is about women's health by five boys. I'm so nervous. I packed three different outfits. Why? I don't know. So I had like this, this two-piece set that I can just easily like slip on, slip off. Because a, just a simple dress is backless so I could just untie the top put that down I can just you know raise it up some tights and just a basic Nike shirt to put on and I, I have matching shoes in the car or whatever like I'm putting all three of these outfits out tonight and not that I'm gonna be I'm like I'm putting this out because I think I'm gonna be have sleep or just irritated in the morning to get up. No, that's not that's not it. It is more so of I am so anxious for tomorrow. The last time I actually waited to go to see the doctor um after a pap smear is the last time that I lost my job. When I finally went back, I had found out that my fibroids had grew apparently. Um, I do have heavy bleeding, but it's only one day versus in the past I had heavy bleeding like three four almost five five days of my period so which is still progress in everything but like I said this is a new OBGYN um I don't want a repeat of my past OBGYN experience although that is independent I realize that it just bring up so many issues or whatnot and I was just thinking like man what if I go to her and she's like Oh well, we found this, and it's something because my other doctor didn't didn't look at. <sighs> anyway, y'all, we're gonna go. We, you and I, we, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the OBGYN in the morning. All right, y'all. Good night. See y'all tomorrow. guys we made it to our doctor's appointment okay first of all the instructions that they gave me to get here they gave me an address but they didn't say which building it's like two different buildings that share the same address but anyway I I got here I made it even before my appointment start because it's my first time here I'm supposed to do some paperwork and stuff so I'm just waiting on that Hopefully that we can get in and out of here with without any issues because I have to go back to work. So 
I hope this is not one of those be here all day type situations, but it is what it is. We made it. Yes, I'm so nervous, but the nerves are slowly starting to go down because I am here. So, um, so I guess so. We'll just see. We'll just wait for our paperwork and then get called in the back to meet the new OBGYN. Okay, y'all. So I'm in the restroom now. I forgot about, um, well, first I got to do like a urine sample thing or whatever. Okay. But I forgot that I can't record like I want to in here because of HIPAA violations, PHI, personal health information, HIPAA. I don't want to violate that or, you know, disrupt any of that because I understand that that's with my nine to five job too. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm picking y'all up in the, in the restroom. I got to tell y'all about these questions on this form because what? Anyway, I'm about to do my urine sample right now and then I'll go to my room. Split by the need and assigned win. Straight full and eyes on the climbing. I decide no man at the climbing. Burning bitches in my third trimester. Shift eyes, they tell me you lying. Don't care, just lay them inside me. Hey, time chasing the rewind. I'm in the room now. I, I guess. Typically, the nurse or like a sister or something like that, they do your blood pressure and they get your weight and maybe ask you like some of the same questions that you fill out on the, on the form or whatever. So I guess I'm waiting on that. Obviously, I'm not ready for the doctor because I'm still in, I'm still in my regular clothes. I don't, I'm not in the little drapey thing. Anyway, y'all, but... Let me tell y'all about these green questions. So some of this, uh, some of those questions is like, uh-uh, you in my business. Don't do that. They ask you about like, um, do you use condoms? Are you on any birth control type stuff? Um, if not, if you're not on birth control, what methods do you use? Um, is your cycles regular? Are they normal? What's regular? What's normal? Are you in an abusive relationship? Not dog. Not dog. Who? It's really going to answer that question truthfully. Um, do you have a living will? What's your social security number? Which are normal questions, right? But those are really invasive. Um, like, I just met y'all. Can I get to my name first? But, okay. Um, do I see what else invasive question? I can't think of any other invasive question. Oh, but she's back, so. All right, bye, y'all. I need more space waiting on the doctor well I'm waiting on the doctor uh, and then we just get this party moving hey y'all I'm back first floor okay y'all I am walking out obviously y'all can see in the background um, I'm about to walk to my car so I can head back to work thank you We're walking to the garage. First of all, y'all, she made me cry. <laughs> my new OBGYN made me cry. Oh my gosh, I just said my new. Um, y'all, she did a really good job. The vibes were vibing, baby. Uh, hold on one second. It's bright outside, so I was trying to change out a little bit. But before I get in my car and just drive like a speed racer, my appointment was went so well. Um, I like her. I actually will come back. The only bad thing about this is that you do have to pay for parking. So, ugh. but other than that, the vibes were there. The lady at the front desk was kind of weird, but all right, girl. But other than that, like the my physician itself, she was so good. But she made me cry or whatever because she was telling me like, um, at this age, you just need to kind of come to a self-realization of what you want in terms of having kids or not so yeah we're gonna we will we'll have a plan um first date i should say went well because y'all know when you go on your first date so you start a new relationship everything is good so first impression was good there um i'll 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 go back i actually consider going back to her and talking a little bit more in detail with her about my fibroids i didn't 
bring it too much into this appointment or whatnot, but you know, based on my age or whatever, we just had to kind of like think about anything that may be like hinder pregnancy or any of the other stuff. So all in all, it was good. I'm so glad that I had the nerves or whatever. Although I had like anxiety or whatnot, I'm okay with that because of my outcome was really good for this appointment. Okay, y'all. So, oh, also she told me that my well woman's from, for what she's seen, breast exam, good. Um, my cervix, fine. She do see that um, my uterus is a little bit enlarged, but that's just because I have fibroids, but it wasn't anything alarming for her at this moment. So she said, however, I'm managing my fibroids, keep doing it because um, she doesn't see anything wrong at this moment. So right now we're just waiting on tests, test results and stuff like that to come back. But all in all, y'all, it was so good. Okay, y'all, I gotta go back to work. All right, bye. Good morning, saints and sinners. I'm actually on the way to go to a BA gig, which, I, okay, my hair ain't fluffed out, y'all. Leave my hair alone. Um, I went back and forth about picking up the camera or whatnot because y'all can't see exactly everything that you have to do because once you're on um, activation, like once you're at the program, uh, you start working, they don't want you to have your phone now. So me trying to bring out a camera, I know that's a no-go. Anyway, y'all, um, I woke up. I woke up on time and of course I was like, ugh, I woke up like, do I really want this? And then I remember, girl, you got a couple of the chips and stuff that you want to plan and don't want to come out of your, you know, your regular pocket. So let's go. Anyway, so y'all, I got up and I got dressed real quick, actually, which never happens. And I got the house on time because anybody who know me, if it ain't about money or going to an airport, I might waking up early or leave the house on time. I try though. I'm trying to get better. That's like actually my goal for 2025. I mean, let's just keep it real. Me trying to work on a 2024. <laughs> Why? Anyway, we're on our way to a BA gig. I would try to pull out my camera as much as possible. Um, and then depending on where they allow us to house our our personal belongings, you know, then, then that can further determine how much I'll pull out my camera or even if I'll just have my camera on site or whatever because sometimes they be tripping in, you know? Uh, anyway, y'all, we doing this for the whole weekend. I put myself in this. I put myself in this, but I know it's worth it. I hope that the weather stays nice for the day because they have us in these jean uniforms or something. I don't know y'all either way it's houston it's humidity and i don't like it but okay well i'm about to just drive listen to my devotional for today because i didn't get a chance to read it so i'm gonna listen to it in the car i hope y'all can hear me i made it to the walmart event oh sorry if i didn't tell y'all so this is the okay so oh the sun Y'all, so this is the Walmart event. Um, and I used jargon earlier. I said BA. BA basically means brand ambassador. Um, so today we're at the Bayou City Festival. And I'm at the Walmart tent right now. Uh, sharing the fall fashions that Walmart have. I'll show y'all the full body. And I'm going to try to do it real quick. but Because I'm not supposed to be with my camera. But y'all, look at the dress they, they put us in.
nigga with a sick ass mouth and a slick ass flow. Uh huh. Catch up in the round, me nigga get a plan when I'm coming for the kitty, got my full gun down. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right there. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right now. Niggas got killed for the boys, living dreams and the hills, and they watching for the boy right now. God damn, what a time, what a kill. We are what them young boys feel. I kill, never be killed. That's real, no lie. You can tell it from my peers right now. But you wanna fuck me now? But you wanna love me down? Girl, you can't tie me down like Ray J said, but no, I'm down. Day one complete. Day one check. Check. Good morning, y'all. Day two. I am pulling in. It is um, a little after eight o'clock. Woo, y'all. Out been outside all day. It ain't bad. But they don't have they only have porty potties here. Ugh. Anyway, no more complaining because we're getting this money, this money, baby. Um, I'm about to put my shoes on and go. Um, yeah, another good thing is not 12 hours, thank the Lord. But then we have like about roughly eight hours or so out here overnight. The people are cool, you know. I, I don't well, if y'all don't know, you know, artsy people are like free and optimistic, and I am one with nature, so it's cool. At least, at least, at least I don't want to have an attitude. But I think everybody just trying to get through the day. The team is good. The tour manager is, is straight. So that's always a plus. Um, let me stop reacting and get out this car before I'm late. All right, y'all. Um, oh, and I'm leaving my camera in the car because I was paranoid yesterday because everybody kept going in and out of the tent. And I'm like, my camera too small. And I don't want anybody to like, you know, accidentally pick up my bag or do anything. So. Whew, yeah, we go to work. I will pick y'all up later. Thank you for hanging in with me. Oops. Keep trying for you. Hi guys. Woo! The sun beat me up today Woo, I am trying to get out of this parking lot so I can go home oh y'all it's 6 13 um I got to the car like maybe two minutes ago because we got to go sit in this line for them to open up the gate for us to get out of this thing oh baby tomorrow your girl is wearing her hair in a ponytail because what so hot so hot and this is far as we go let me show y'all this line curves all the way up and out until y'all can't even see that far the line is long so they said that the they open a gate at 6 15 it is 6 13 now 6 14 now but i promise you we probably be sitting here a good another 15 minutes either because we're so far back in the line or they're just not opening the gates until a little bit later either way y'all day two we're done son done today it was a the morning started a little bit slow and we started just talking about random stuff and they were talking about different diseases that hit the african-american and hispanic communities and not only it's like mental health with people being on the quote-unquote spectrum having adhd or dyslexia we were also talking about women who have lupus and oh, man is one lady i met today she she has lupus and she has all these stories 
you know like how lupus basically attack her body in one way or another but the way that she talk about it she give you so much um i don't she just i don't she puts put you in this spot where you just you don't feel sorry for her you feel more so like grateful that she shares this information but you can see how um mentally uh emotionally mentally mature she is and the things that she went through so it was just pretty interesting she was just giving off tips like come and find out it was two other girls who have lupus as well and one literally just found out that she has lupus so she was basically telling them like hey when you're at this age you do this you do that da, da, da. and some of the stuff that she was telling them is kind of like some similarities that i share about fibroids it was another girl there she was saying that she um has a mental health thing she didn't go into too many details but she was talking about mental health and it was all about like basically what you eat so this is just super super crazy um anyway i just thought that was like super interesting how we all connect we deal with other stuff or whatever but it's really about um how you deal with it mentally and the people that you surround yourself to ensure that you don't stay in this negative um you don't stay in this negative mindset like things happen for you not to you meaning things happen for you to either grow to learn to teach somebody else or whatnot they're not happening to you in the terms of like this will always be your life this is negative you can't do anything you're not anything like it's not a negative experience but i don't know just interesting y'all yeah, just talking and talking because i'm tired which is an oxymoron because you think because i'm tired i'm not gonna say nothing but i'm tired and i'm ready to go home and we're just in this car it is now 6 17 i feel like i didn't talk to y'all i took y'all ear off for no reason yeah y'all oh yeah also y'all i'm still in this ugly dress sorry S sorry walmart but oh yeah i'm gonna go home i'm gonna try to edit so i can get a vlog out to y'all tomorrow but if not then it'll be later y'all not gonna know the difference but i'll just try to get a another vlog out to y'all because we're doing vlogtober again vlogtober um is i'm just pushing out more videos than the normal to Try to reach more people, you know? What am I going to do? I have all these responsibilities. All this going on, and it seems like I'm doing everything I can for you. And everything is just going opposite. Anybody ever been there where it seems like you were doing all you can do? I feel you took two steps forward and you took five steps back. And you said, you said, God, what, you know, what in the world is going on? And I was sitting in my kitchen and, and, and I didn't understand it. And then these words came. I said, Lord, you are good. You've been so good. Oh, hey, y'all. <clears throat> Happy Sunday. Oh, something in my shoe. I am on my way to obviously work. This is the third day of the um, Bayou Art Festival. And, oh. Y'all got here on time and everything. Where was I going? I got here on time and everything. And y'all, while I sat in the car listening to music as if I ain't have to be at work. Ooh, something still in my shoe. I guess I'll fix it when I get there. Anyway, so. Yes, day three. Final day. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. I feel what I feel. Sometimes it's hard to. 